said I want a Red Bull. <sighs> Oops. I didn't know the camera was on. Hey there. After that amazing start to this YouTube video, I thought that I would just get to speaking quickly so that you guys wouldn't have to put up with too much chitter chatter from me. I was just going to tell bits and pieces of my, my story. Um, and I'll try and put it in a relatively short form. So the story starts July 23rd, 1988. I was born. Yeah, so I was born in Calgary and we fast forward about 18 years. I went to school in Calgary and then did my undergraduate degree in kinesiology at the University of Calgary and then started my master's degree in medical science at the University of Calgary. Basically during that time, I started doing bobsleigh, which was amazing. I didn't really have any idea, any thoughts about going to the Winter Olympics in 2014 in Sochi. I was just doing it because I loved it, but then it kind of looked like that might be a potential. And so I started training a bit more for that and unfortunately got um, injured. I tore my hamstring to bits. And so that was kind of the end of the idea of going to Sochi. During that time period, I was kind of not sure where I was going to go from there. Was I going to do bobsleigh for another few years or another quad um, and try to get to Pyeongchang? Or was I going to retire and focus more on schooling? Or was I going to do something completely different? I ended up actually during that time getting recruited to the track cycling team, which I wasn't even completely sure what track cycling was. I had never done it. I'd seen it at the Olympics, but that was about it. I happened to be having a recruitment camp at Windsport, which is where we train um, for bobsleigh in Calgary. And it just so happened that bobsled athletes put out a fair amount of power, which makes sense if you're pushing a 200 kilo bobsleigh for six seconds. Andy O'Brien in the back. Look at O'Brien's leg turnover. She's just electrifyingly fast. Once I was recruited to track cycling, Cycling Canada and Bobsleigh Canada decided that they would work together and have me do both sports in one season because the seasons actually um, at the time overlapped. So they were both winter sports. I ended up doing the 2014-15 season in bobsleigh and track cycling. So I'd trek back and forth to bobsleigh events with my bike in a bag and you know rollers and do things in the hotel room and then go back to a track cycling event and then go back to bobsleigh and I think it ended with back-to-back -back world championships in both events in 2015 and then I hung up my sled or whatever you do with bobsleighs decided to switch to track cycling alone because the Toronto 2015 Pan Am games were happening. I ended up training up to the Pan Am games and finishing there with a gold medal in team sprint and a silver medal in match sprint. It came down to starting to qualify for the Rio 2016 Olympics. It was a bit tricky to qualify for the 2016 games just because it's a two-year qualification process and because in the first year of qualification I had been doing bobsleigh as well and not focused on track cycling so we really just had kind of the one year to really focus in on qualifying for the 2016 games. In the end we ended up doing it and went to Rio. After 2016 I wasn't very sure what I was going to do. Was I going to continue in track cycling? Was I going to focus more on school? Um, was I going to do another quad and try to get to the next Summer Olympics? Um, was I going to go back to bobsleigh or try to go back to bobsleigh? I, I wasn't sure, but I did decide that I was going to continue with track cycling for the upcoming 2016-17 season. We ended up going through the 2017 season and me and my new teammate ended up getting a silver medal in one of the World Cups and finishing fifth in World Championships, which was a good result leading into the upcoming quad. In June of 2017, we got two weeks off to go home, wherever that was for us. So for me, that's Calgary. And so I went home for a couple of weeks. 
So it turns out I have something called expressive aphasia, which is basically a fancy way of saying that I ramble, but more about that later. So we went to the track in Calgary um, for some training of my own. It's another outdoor track. It's about 400 meters and um, was going to speak with some of the women who were there who um, had just started track cycling and they had, you know, some, some questions for me, the true expert after two years in track cycling. I went to the track and was doing motor pacing efforts and I guess my rear tire blew out and this is what happened. <laughs> 